That's how we start our dinner usually. That what's cooking. What is good, everybody? It's Van Glorious, and welcome back to another What's Cooking. So this week, I'm thinking we got some pretty good ones to talk about, and you'll be surprised about how many of these I would like to cook. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, the Yeezy brand. It's been week after week, or every other week, where some pretty good leaks come out. Now, I did cover the Yeezy 450s previously, and I was cooking, and I did say that, hey, if it came out in black, or a core black, I would want to cop them. But, I may have changed my mind on that. So, the Cloud White versions of these are supposed to come out March 4th to the 6th, but a lot of sources are saying March 4th, so shout outs to JA and uh, influence visions on Instagram for kind of giving us a tip as to when to expect them they're supposed to shock drop that's why there's no hard date but this is what is being talked about most the price tag for these is looking like it's gonna be either 180 or $200 apparently the friends and family pairs were $180 so whether they'll keep it at the same price or hike it $20 is up in the air but that's what you guys should expect so that's the closest thing we have as to when they will drop. Now these are gonna be worldwide and the, the best part about this is is that they should be at distribution centers. So lucky for me, if I'm able to get my hands on them, you'll see a review up the very next day. So let's just hope for these. I'm definitely, I'm kind of excited about them. Weird looking shoe, but hey, I took a chance on the 500s and that's a pretty weird looking shoe. So hey, why not take it a step ahead and get some weirder stuff? All right, so I was kind of perturbed by this and I'll actually go into a subsection of this whole thing because I kind of wanted to talk about it. So as you know, we were all waiting for the 350 V3 to eventually drop. Somewhere, um, I don't know, I, for I forgot where I saw it, but I think it was either Addy site or somewhere on Instagram, it had this picture here. Now, I was getting very excited because I was like, okay, not only are they announcing that a V3 is coming up, but they already got a colorway ready to go for it. So I was super pumped about that. And then pictures came out of the cover light and lo and behold, it was a 380. So that was very frustrating <laughs> because most of us are, we're, we are ready to move on from the V2. V2s are cool and you know, I do like them. I got so many pairs of them, but the world is ready for a V3. Now the Corva lights, which you will see right here, it's not a terrible color for the 380. I mean, put it this way. It's pretty close to the Onyxes. It's very close, it's, except most of this is like a navy blue and then it's, I don't know, it's like this is more of a gum bottom and then this is more bluish or navy blue. So it's more of a blue hue on this shoe. So at first I was thinking, why do they keep putting these weird color combinations together like this? They can make easy money if they just stick to colors like we saw with the calcites. Keep it simple and clean because the 380 is notoriously bad for bad, you know, color matching. But then I thought about something. You know how I rag on all y'all fashion week people? And it's not that I'm ragging on you, it's just that it's not my style, but I respect it. But I kind of poke fun, I'm like, yo, you know, y'all gonna do this fashion week or, you know, y'all your own stylist, but I'm starting to see and starting to open up a little bit more because a lot of this is about the ingenuity of, of fashion, right? Because Kanye is the type of person where you see his style is all over the place and he doesn't mind rocking eclectic stuff or pairing different colors together. It's a part of fashion. And I think a part of this particular model is kind of challenging you to put things together. And I could be reading into this, so take this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. But I just feel like with these crazier looking silhouettes, um, they kind of challenge you to pair them with things so you could broaden your horizons. And some of the fits that I see people rock you know, they look great. And I'm not going front. Some of these people rocking like the V3 700s put things together so well. Even JA. JA puts a lot of his Yeezys together and he has his own look and it looks great. So, I mean, I'm a simpler type of person. So, 
you could call me, you know, childish for matching a same color shirt with my shoes, but you know, I've tried to mix it up where, you know, I don't look like, you know, my mother like went to dress me or something like when I was in grade school or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I understand that not everybody is, uh, you know, a super fashionable person where they're going out and buying all these high end brands or, not everyone thrifts and wants to put things together. Not everyone is trying to be a lookbook, but at the same token, it doesn't hurt to expand your color selection or your color palette as to what you're gonna wear. So, I've talked enough about this, but I'm starting to accept it a little bit now. So the Kova lights, I've changed my mind. I probably, I'm probably gonna get them. I actually do like this color combo and I expanded my horizons and I actually had stuff that Will go great with this so yeah the cover lights expect them um, march 15th i think either march 15th because i think the pearls the 350 pearls are probably coming out next month too but you know there's a lot of stuff coming out in march so i'm thinking you know the 15th is probably correct and yeah so that's gonna be that for the cover light i was looking at this too and i was like wow fashion week the Yeezy 1020 boot. Now, this boot has been spotted, uh, given to somebody already. So you're gonna see the picture right here. This is what they look like. And the 1020 boot, I guess, is kind of cool. If it comes in a different color, I'm sure these are gonna sell like hotcakes too. This color is probably gonna sell a lot because it's gonna be, you know, it's first of the 1020 series. So I think that's gonna be nice. Um, no particular ETA on the date of when they come out and price who knows but that's what those look like so hey if you're looking for a different kind of boot i think this is uh this might be a gripper and i was actually looking at some of the ivy park stuff because their collection dropped i think last week or two weeks ago and i did see that uh if you're into ultra boost they do have a og set of ultra boost there where it's just white with kind of like a curly loom on the back for a pull tab and uh, it has a gum bottom. Those actually look pretty good. Now they are $200 and they are still on the Adidas app uh, from what I saw today. So yeah, those are pretty cool. And as far as the other stuff that they have um, in the collection, I see mostly it's catered towards ladies, which is a good thing, Ivy Park. And they do have some uh, unisex stuff, so men could uh, rock them. But as far as the shoes concerned, these ones kind of piqued my interest because I do have a set of Ultra Boost. I think Ultra Boost 20s. I don't have 20 ones yet. But um, yeah, I thought those were pretty cool. So that's what they look like over here. Not bad. Definitely a simple shoe to rock. And I think they're called the Icy Parks. So that's like the nickname for them. So yeah, Icy Parks. That's, that's pretty cool too. So actually, another cool shoe that I did see that um, the ladies, I uh, hope you're excited about this because it's only for you. There's no men's sizing on these. So they're the Tech Gray Air Jordan 4s. So brand new color. These look really good. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of jealous because I'm not a huge fan of 4s, but I do appreciate them. And I used to always like, like Oreo 4s or just, you know, any white tone 4, you know, like the white, red, black. But yo, these, these look really good. So ladies, I hope you are excited for these. Uh, I believe they come out in May possibly, but yeah, like I said, these are hot. So hats off to the ladies, I'll get something cool. And the last one I wanna talk about is going to be big. Just like every other release that this person does with collabs. This is the Travis Scott and Fragment Air Jordan 1. It's gonna be huge because Everybody loves fragments. The fragment ones are dope. The closest thing you could get without having to break the bank. That hard were the Royal Toes, which you saw I tried to get and I almost had them, but finish line. Acted crazy, didn't get them, but I got my other shoes at the time. And yeah, I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. Travis Scott, whenever he does a collab, usually it's, it's LaFleur. So, these are gonna be great. This is what they look like here. Honestly, this isn't a bad colorway at all. I mean, it has the signature upside down check going this way, and you know, it has fragment blue color on it. So, so for the back and the sole is not too bad. Like the sole kind of looks cool. Would have been nice if it came in black, yes, but then 
it really wouldn't be that much of a different shoe from the actual fragments or world toes. So I like that there's a little much more of a spin on these rather than just kind of re-releasing the shoe but flipping the check. So it's cool that they have kind of like their own identity uh, on this collaboration. No idea when these come out, but you know, our man Travis was spotted in them already. These, uh, you know, I'll cover them once we have more information about when they come out, probably in another What's Cooking episode, but just know these are gonna sell like hotcakes. So get your wallets ready and keep your eyes peeled because, you know, these could drop like this. But I'm sure there's probably gonna be an ETA because everybody's gonna be hawking these now that they are in vision. So watch out for those. Now it is time to get into it. Am I cooking or am I not cooking? First up to back, the 450s. Cook. Definitely cooking those. Change our mind. Now I'm 100% on them. Not only do I want them because they'd be the first of its 450 nature, but I'm trying to be more open-minded in terms of what shoes I want to rock. And I kind of want to see how they are on foot. They look like they're going to be good. Are strange looking, but let's, let's try and get past that. If I can't, then they'll be up for sale. So we'll see, but we'll do a review if we get them for sure. Most definitely. Now, what else do we have? 380 Kovalex. Yes, we already know. That's in the cook. Again, for the same reason. Change my mind. Why not? I have the, the clothes for the shoes. So, I like the 380s. I think they're cool. So, really nothing wrong with, with this color. I mean, I kind of like building up my pairs of 380s anyway. Because, like I said, it's just... I kind of like it more than my 350s at this point because it's it's a new take on a silhouette and I don't know, it's just different. It's nice having something different. So those are going to be in the cook. So now we're going to get the 1020 boot. Mm, I'm going to say not cooking just for the simple fact of the color. And I'm not a huge boot person. I mean, like I rarely wear boots and when I do, it's because it's snowing. So I'm not really wearing boots for style at, the, at that point. Like, yeah, I got a pair of... Um, outdoor black boots that you know i mean they're nice they're, they're regular looking boots but you know you can style them with stuff you know you can still you know go grunge with a pair of jeans or something like that you know like i could still style with those boots but uh, i'm not a huge boot person so yeah that's in the not cook then we have let's see um it's like i could wear that <laughs> the icy parks but i mean i already have a pair of all white ultra boots so for the icy parks uh ultra boost that's in the not cook because like i said i already have a pair of ultra boost and the tech fours if i was a girl that's a cook or if they did come in men's sizes if the women's sizes were extended so i can convert them um sure so i would say i will cook the tech gray fours them shits is flames i really do like them like Ladies, go out and buy these. These are gonna be so nice. They look so good. And last but not least, for the Travis Scott and Fragment collab, that's a total cook. If I'm able to get my hands on those, I promise you, I'm gonna at least try and double up if I can because I know the resale market's gonna be kinda crazy, but personally, I didn't get a chance to get my Royal Toes and I'm definitely not dropping a whole bunch of brand on Fragments. So if I can get these in a raffle, sneakers app, Wherever they're coming out, I'ma do that. So that's going in the cook section. So that's gonna wrap it up today for what's cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me your thoughts out of all six of these shoes. Tell me which ones you want to cook, but don't you want to cook? Did you like the, uh, today's inclusion of Nike? I know I don't typically cover Nike or any other brand, but I thought these were interesting, and I did think that it would be nice to actually have. Um, some inclusion for for the female shoes because females get nice kicks too i mean the the ladies stuff it's it's not a whole bunch and i kind of feel like it's it's unfair in some senses that you know there's a good amount of shoes that come out but you find that it's all men's sizes and then for them to get their sizes it's like they have to pay an arm and a leg if they don't get them release day so they have it much worse than us people with you know kind of bigger feet because we're like in the middle but it's that those base sizes on men's shoes are crazy so i feel for y'all ladies but yeah that's all i have for today thanks for tuning in to another episode of what's cooking like comment and subscribe show me some love down in the comment box if you enjoy the content i really would appreciate you uh subscribing 
I know 90% of y'all, maybe even 95% of y'all watching aren't subscribed. Why not subscribe if you're gonna come back and watch? Do me a big favor, all right? That'd be nice. We're almost to 100 too. So with that in mind, I will see you guys. Be safe, take care, peace.